Okay, good morning everyone, I'm Yolanda. So today I'm going to talk about open source software and I will share some ideas with you. And the title of this paper is Measuring Open Source Software Success. And this is today's outline. I will divide it into two parts. The first part is what is the paper about? And the second is what is my idea got from this paper? So we can see the keywords on the slide. Uh, so now I will introduce the what is this paper about. After reading this paper, I gather some information and put it put it in some orders. So the first, uh, the aim of this paper is to develop a, a model measuring open open source software success. And the re research questions are: What are the factors determine OSS success, and how do these factors affect each other? Then the contribution of this paper is provide guidelines for OSS practitioners on how to successfully manage OSS. And now this is the structure of this paper. Okay, so this paper uh, divides into seven parts and the introduction is uh, tell us, the introduction of this paper tell us although there are lots of OSS project success but the failure, uh, the failure rate is quite high. So the author collects some the theoretical frameworks to analyze how to, how to uh, uh, solve these, these kind of problems. And then he used the theory and the research models to test his hypothesis. And then he used the survey to conduct the to conduct the to conduct this research, and then he he will do some uh, analysis and tell us what what the limitations and what the what, what he find what he finds. And this is the research model of this paper. So we can see there are five determinants of this paper. The first is soft quality, and the second is community service quality, and the third is OSS use. And the fourth is user satisfaction, and the final is individual net benefits. Okay, so the um, the author the author the author use these five determinants to uh, test each 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 determinant affect would they affect each other, and then he will use um, some questionnaires and the PLAs to do some vi uh, viability and validity. So um, here comes the discussion. So um, after some surveys and some analysis, um, the finding of this paper is to develop a model measuring OSS success. And the limitation, there are two limitations. The first is the small sample size. And the second is cultural difference. This may, uh, this, may, this may result the different conclusion. So um, the, uh, the author also gives us some implementations. The first is understanding the five determinants. And the second is how practitioners can enhance software quality and community service qualities. Also, he also suggests that the practitioner should attempt to manage the, the other all, three OSS success determinants. And then, about the conclusion. So, develop OSS success model consists of software quality and community, quali community service quality as determinants for, of user satisfaction of OSS, which in turn determine individual net benefits. And um, according to this paper, um, here is something I want to do. And about the topic, I want to I want to do the comparison between open source software and business software, as we know. So um, the u the users may choose some software to use. Uh, maybe they want to uh, some specialized or personalized functions. If they want some customization functions they may choose business software because OSS software um, 
it, it is not good or pro appropriate to fix the code. And if the users want to choose some software that is just have general function, maybe they can choose um, so open source software because it can save their time and money. And now, so according to the problems, here is my questions, okay? And the first question is, what problems should we conquer when using OSS? And the second is about what is the position of OSS nowadays? This is the main questions I, I think. And now to, um, after I uh, decide what I might, may do, so uh, this is the method I want to use. I want to use surveys to do this kind of research and use questionnaires to collect data. And then may, I may use some literature analysis and this questionnaire data to analyze what I can find, what I can get. And um, this is the paper and what I think. So thanks for your attention. So do you have any questions about my proposal?